It's lunchtime, and in this video, I'm going to be eating iron rations, herbs worst. If you're interested, keep watching. This video is either part two or a follow up to the video I made on the making of herbs worst, an alternative to pemmican. So, not to waste any time, we'll go right down to where my setup is on the ground here, and I'll start preparing my lunch. All right, my setup for the day is a small little table just to kind of level things off and give me some height to work at. And I'm using my Goshawk Era alcohol stove with the simmer ring attachment for it. So, that's how I'm going to be cooking everything. Up. So to get things started, we're going to fill the goshawk and uh, light her up so that I can bring it to a bloom, which of course with this happens very quickly. Now I'm not filling this all the way up and the nice thing about the goshawk is once it's cooled off, you can usually recover at least most of the alcohol. Get her lit. There we go, so that's lit, and we'll give that a chance to quickly come to a bloom. And as it's doing so, I'm going to put the water in my pot, which is my Uberlieben titanium kessel today. Good size pot slash kettle, so I only had to bring one out. Now, I'll put the weight of this block of herbs worst. It's the ones I made at home in the other video, and I put in this... Uh, uh, vacuum seal package. I'll put the weight of that in the video description, but what I've discovered in preparing this is uh, you don't want a whole lot of water for that weight of it. So I'm putting in about a cup and a half. That's it. Just a cup and a half, not a whole lot. You can add water to it, but you want to not start off too uh, much water and have it turn out to be too thin. Now what I'm going to do is quickly bring that to a boil. And then I'm going to add my herbs worst to it. So as it does so, I just want to show you, I'm going to open the herbs worst up and show you that in a moment. But I also wanted to show you this. This is a block of pemmican that I've been carrying in my bag now for over two years. And I thought it would be a good idea to come out and show it to you at the same time today. So it is 30 two degrees Celsius right now and this has been in my bag like I say for over two years. It has gotten a little misshapen from its original but it has not gone to mush and of course sealed in the bag it's still very good. You can see a little bit of the tallow has you know, gelled on the surface of it right there but it's still very very firm to the touch and that's one of the hallmarks of something made with tallow. Tallow remains very firm for a long period of time so uh, or in up to high temperatures I guess is the way to say it. On the contrary though the herbs worse because it's made with the lard and not the tallow will actually st stay quite soft. You can probably see my finger is pushing into it close to a sausage consistency which of course what herbs worse stands for is pea sausage. So that's the difference between the herbs worst and the pemmican in terms of firmness. Now again I'm still waiting for the water to come to a boil and that era is just rocking and rolling underneath there. You can probably hear it on the microphone. Um, I did make some, uh, how should I say, hybrids where I used tallow along with lard in the making of some of these and the firmness is somewhere in between the two. And I wanted to point that out because I did mention in the making of the herbs with video that you can make or you know change it up the way you want. If you don't want to use lard, use tallow. If you want to use a combination of the two, they'll both work as well. The only difference being is how firm it makes the um, material at the end of it. So if you want it soft and pliable, don't use tallow, but use the lard. Now the other thing I'm doing for a future video is actually taking blocks of these and combining them so that I have a pemmican herbs worst kind of a hybrid combination. We'll come back with another video, see how that works out. All right, this thing is really starting to rock now. And the water is almost to a boil, so I'll take the herbs worst out. I can show that to you. Now, it is a little soft inside of this packaging. I want you to be able to see it. You can see how it's kind of soft and, you know, a little bit oily at the same time. Now that my water has reached pasteurization, there's bubbles forming, it's just about to come to a boil, I'm going to put this into the water. I weighed it to do that just to ensure that the water has been pasteurized and it's kind of safe. So I can actually break this up, which is kind of nice as well. Put that in. 
And in a moment, I'm going to put the simmer ring on the era and give this a little bit of time to rehydrate all the materials inside of it. And if you haven't watched the other video, the materials are basically uh, pea protein powder and uh, soup mix, barley and lentil soup mix that I turned into a flour. Well, that's coming to a boil real fast. Got to get my spoon out and get ready here. And well, I'll put the, all the ingredients in the video description. So it is, oh yeah, and of course there is lard and there is bacon in this. The original recipe would have called for, uh, not back bacon, uh, pork bellies, but this has bacon instead. No herbs and spices. I'm gonna put that in at the end. I'll give you an idea of what it looks like in a few moments time when it's ready for serving. But right now, I wonder if I can get this on without, ah, I should be able to get this on without a glove. Or maybe not. This can be a little bit challenging, this air stove to get that on. There we go, that's better. There, that calmed it down a long ways. Good, just a gentle simmer. Okay, now, this is going to take a few minutes to rehydrate and get nice and thick. And as it does, I'm going to be putting one more ingredient in it, but I'll bring it back in a few moments' time. All right, a few moments later. Oh, look at that. Just like split pea soup, right? I could probably put a little bit of water in there. Uh, if you do want to add water, it should be cleaned water, although the heat would very quickly clean it up as well, or purify it, or at least pasteurize it. Okay, so I'm about to take this off of the burner, but what I wanted to show you is, as I had mentioned in the other video, was that you... The herbs worst is intended to be used as a last resort ration for military forces who are cut off from their food supply chain or uh, otherwise just run out of food and they want to prepare something for themselves. For us, this can work as an emergency food source. I just got a bit of the forest floor in mine. It can be used as an emergency food source, but it can also be used as a meal for the woods. And like the military people who were going to use this, they, if they had something they can supplement it with, they would, such as fresh meat or other ingredients. Well, I don't have fresh meat, but I do have ham. So this is a ham, a smoked ham that I had at home that I cut some up. And I'm putting the ham in, so that'll really boost the protein and the flavor profile for this. Let me stir that around. That'll only take a second or two to warm the ham up and as it does I'm going to throw in a few herbs and spices. So what do you want inside of this? Well for me garlic, always garlic. So some garlic powder going in, a little bit of salt, not too much salt but a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, that's what I carry in my pack. And one more thing, let's see what have I got here? Old Bay seasoning, just a little something a little different. There. All right, that's everything I'm adding in. That's looking pretty good. All right, I'm going to take this off the burner, maybe let it set for a minute or two. It's a little hot anyway, and also to thicken up a little bit more. And when it's ready to eat, I'll bring it back. All right, spoon some up, show you what it looks like. Basically, it looks like split pea soup with ham in it, which is essentially what it is. A little taste test. And essentially, that's what it tastes like. So now, my augmented mind with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of Old Bay, and a little bit of salt, which added some nice flavors to it. I did want to look at the sauce. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can turn it a little bit. It's going to run off of the spoon. Actually, that's not bad. See it running off of the spoon. There is bacon bits in there from the original recipe. But I just wanted to try it. Mm, okay, so I just wanted to try it without the chunks of ham in it. And what I'm finding is, I'm trying to make sure that it's not the bacon bits I'm tasting, but I wanted to see if there was any grittiness or any uh, little bits of uh, the lentils or the peas or anything else that uh, hadn't rehydrated. And I guess it's not the case. It has all rehydrated nicely. The bits I was feeling in my mouth were the bacon bits, which are, you know, good flavor, right? 
So uh, my only thing I'd say there is if you have the fuel and the time, give it a few minutes to rehydrate. Now, if you have clean water, purified water, you could probably cold soak this before you heat it up and that would expedite how, uh, how quickly it would soften everything up. But, um, or you can do it the other way around. Heat it up and make it hot and give it a little bit of a simmer time and then set it aside and let it finish rehydrating. Either way, it doesn't take very long. That's the whole point of grinding those things to a powder is that they will rehydrate very quickly. But as far as the texture of this soup, it's like a nice split pea soup with ham in it and bacon. I don't know. To refer to this as an emergency ration, I think, really is unfair. I could eat this any time on the trail. I would say day in and day out. However, having said that, I read to you in the original video a quote from Horace Kephart talking about how well Herbsworth keeps and is will stay good for a long period of time. But if you, and I'm sure people who have already read that know what I'm going to say, if you read further, he refers to it as dynamite soup. Uh, basically, don't eat too much of this. That's what I'm going to say. At any one time, you want to try this for the first time at home, not out in the woods. Not everyone's digestion is going to handle this the same way. You may find yourself looking for somewhere to drop your drawers very quickly. So that's the reason why it can be referred to as dynamite soup, especially if you're eating it day in and day out. If you reserve it for the occasional meal, uh, I, well, let's put it this way. I have not had an issue with it at all. I think the very first time I tried it was one of my earlier versions where I hadn't been able to powder the, or yeah, powder, I guess, grind the, the materials fine enough. I did get a little gassy afterwards. That's the only issue I had with it. Since then, if you prepare it properly and don't eat too much of it at any one time, then it's, uh, it's not going to give you, at least it doesn't give me an issue. That's where you have to test it for yourself. I just wanted to put that out there. So no one's caught off guard by making this and taking to the woods and trying it for the very first time there. Mm. I mentioned in the original video that I did not put any spices or herbs or anything in it. I did that so I could tailor the flavors to what I had as other ingredients, in this case the ham. So the addition of the garlic and the salt, as I mentioned, and the bay, uh, Old Bay, spot on. It really worked out well. Okay, this wasn't meant to be a long video. I just want to show you how I would prepare it out in the woods, how easy it is to prepare, how well it keeps in my backpack. And yeah, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section below. I will put a link to the original video where I made the herbs worse at the end of this video and in the video description if you're interested. And I suggest you check it out. The next video I make, let me know if this is of interest to you, we'll be combining Herbswurst and Pemmican together to see what we come up with. All right, get out and explore and take that path, let's travel, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.